Today is officially 40 weeks. It's supposed to be the due date. Due date day. Yeah. I'm still pregnant. She is still <laughs> pregnant. Uh, we're about to go in there and see if um, her cervix is dilating or anything like that. See if there's any updates. Your water hasn't broke. You haven't lost your mucus pro. Mucus pro. Oh my god, it's so boxy right now. He like keeps yeah. moving and it's just like wild. Like this, I feel like this is his body and this is like, I don't know what. It's so square. Wow! Yeah, that looks really big. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's, let's go in there and check it out and see what's going on. Maybe I can get a membrane sweep and then I'll go into labor. Yeah, maybe. I was having contractions yesterday. Yeah, watch for the door though. Alright guys, let's go in and see what's up. Okay, a little update. I was one centimeter dilated, which is extremely exciting because last week I was completely closed. So she stripped my membranes, which for those of you watching, a lot of you probably don't know what that means. Basically, they just shove their hand up there and try to open up your cervix a little bit more to get things moving. So I guess like basically I could go into labor within 24 to 48 hours or earlier or it could also not work. I think there's like a 50-50 yeah. chance. Yeah. My prediction is, uh, so today's the 26th. Uh, my prediction is it's gonna come down to the 28th to March 1st. Uh, like we'll, you'll be in the hospital on the 28th. We just won't sure if it's gonna happen that day or the first. Mark I always felt like it would, he would be a February baby. And I didn't know if that was because my due date was in February. But, like, two weeks ago I said I feel like he'll be born on February 28th. That's now we're gonna go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk for like an hour. We're gonna go to the gym for a little bit, and then, uh, I'd like to go see a movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Do it. What? My country Show accent. them your country accent. Hell yeah, Matthew! <laughs> so, bad. guys, the other day, the other day, she was uh, trying this country accent. I was like, oh my god, you you need to say that more often like, when, I'm, when we're in bed. And, uh, I won't, you know, I won't. Yeah, but, um. It's kind of hot. You liked it? No, you didn't do that. I'm saying. No, I did not. I think do you that. should next time. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, it's 1.30 a.m. February 27th. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I've been having very consistent contractions since probably before 11.30. Oh. I, I, fell asleep, I went to bed at 10 and I had been having contractions and I think I fell asleep maybe for like an hour. And then I woke up at 11.30 because they woke me up and now they're like, they've been like a minute long for like Anywhere from like three minutes to like 14 minutes. And I started having contractions earlier at like 4.30. Uh -huh. So it's been like, like if that was the beginning of early labor, it's been like 10 hours already of laboring. <laughs> Things are happening. Yeah, well technically you've been at least one centimeter since uh, 10 a.m., right? 10 like, a.m. I could have been one centimeter 26. for a week, we don't know. Yeah, who knows? Oh, okay. But, Probably not. But I did have a, well, obviously, yeah, we know we had a membrane sweep. So we went for a walk, then we did it at four. <laughs> and then I had contractions at 4.30 ever since. Some labor updates. <laughs> this morning, I, basically, I fell back asleep at 2 a.m. last night, and I pretty much slept until 7.30 and then I think I kept getting woken up with contractions but they weren't like super intense or um, super close together because I kept falling asleep. And then I think we finally woke up at like 9 and um, when I was making coffee at like 10 a.m. I had my bloody show which they usually say is a really good sign that labor is near and like usually 
usually you go into labor within 24 hours after your bloody show. Um, I know everyone's different. Some people like didn't go into labor for like another week, but um, it's pretty common for you to go into labor shortly after your bloody show. Um, so after I had that, oh, and those of you who don't know that, <coughs> what that is, because a lot of people were like, what is that? It's basically your mucus plug with blood, but the blood is more significant than just the mucus plug because you can lose your mucus plug and it can regenerate um, whereas the bloody show means that your cervix is actually thinning out and dilating which is good um, so I lost that at 10 a.m. and then I've been having contractions since 10 a.m. it's now 1248 on Tuesday February 27th and my contractions have been kind of all over the place like anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute long um, and then anywhere from like, some of them have been like three minutes apart, but then those are only like 30 seconds long. And then I've had some that were five minutes apart, six minutes apart, anywhere like from like 15 minutes under, but they've been more consistently under 10 minutes each, um, which is a good sign too. So our goal, our plan is, um, to, we're going to take some last, last minute pregnancy photos because this could be the last time I'll be pregnant. And then... I'm gonna go and walk a ton at the gym and then hopefully things start progressing. And right now I'm on <laughs> I'm on the, the exercise ball, just bouncing away, hopefully getting things going too. So that's that. Alright guys, so we're taking the dogs for a walk a little bit get some movement going and see if that helps with uh dilating with the baby you know moving lower and lower yeah i think we're gonna head over to labor and delivery in maybe an hour two hours or three hours just to check on uh the progress see if she's more dilated uh see if they can admit her or not just to see and if uh <clears throat> if they send us home cool they send us home and i guess we'll have to go back yeah whether that's again tonight or maybe tomorrow morning so we shall see. All right guys, about 5.20 p.m. Grayson's final meal in belly, possibly. We don't know for sure. What is he eating? Some chicken breast. Good stuff. Japanese sweet potato. Some basmati rice. Brussels sprouts. You excited? Yeah. Oh man. I have a good feeling. How are your contractions right now? A little summary. More intense. Yeah. And they're shorter. It seems like they're less than five minutes, which is usually when we need to go to the hospital. Oh wow, <laughs> sounds like we need to go any minute now, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well. But who knows, we'll see. Yeah, we better hurry up. Let's see. It's currently 5.54, and we're on the way to the hospital because we were, oh god, I think I'm having a contraction. Okay, no, I definitely am. show this morning at 9 30 or 10 um and then i've had contractions since 10 o'clock this morning and we went on like a five hour walk five hour what <laughs> i'm no brain a one hour walk um and then i also almost fell down the stairs so maybe that did it but we were about to, we were pretty much just starting dinner and um shit i feel like there's another one started dinner at 5 30 and it's like still gushing and so I called L and D and so they said to come in and see if it broke but it definitely broke and now my contractions are extremely intense and I feel like they're even way more frequent but oh my god they're fucking intense it hurts but it's also really exciting because when your water breaks they don't let you go past 24 hours after it breaks so 
Cars will have a baby. It's crazy. <laughs> Finally. I knew it would be born either now or the 28th. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. You're doing fine. Here, I'll just grab everything later. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's go. She thinks she's dripping Excuse right now. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, my water just she's, broke. She's, oh my yeah. God. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We're kind of it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I was like, what? <laughs> she's like, I have an emergency. We're like, oh, uh, uh, we do too. <laughs> that was funny. <sighs> you want to do a quick update? Quick update. Any chance you're available for a zero? Other than 208. Huh? Awesome. Thank you. Nice. What's going on? Dying. Really? Oh, How many centimeters are you? I don't want to talk about it. Really? No. <laughs> huh. Kicking butt though. Kicking butt. Thanks. Kicking butt. I can't imagine how the contractions would be later on. Pretty intense, huh? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, okay thank you. You're Alrighty, guys, it's about 9 p.m. Um, Is it? Wow. We've been here for two to three hours, I think. Yeah. And I think not um, three. We've only been here for three hours. Yeah. Yeah. So we <clears throat> we pulled up. Um, we pretty <laughs> much walked straight in. Although, as you guys just saw, it was kind of funny. This lady was having some car problems, and uh, she was like. You, you know, she was she was kind of um, sounded like a semi emergency, and then Brittany's like, my water just broke. I and had the, a towel between my legs and it was like yeah. dripping. And the woman, like, I'm so yeah. sorry, but like and the woman was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Her car <laughs> like wouldn't reverse. She's like, you handle that, but um, we we were here and uh, her contract started to get really bad, like really bad. I'm I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, she might be like. Three, four, five centimeters I right now. I thought it was going to be like eight. <laughs> killing it. And uh, the doctor checks and she says, you're, you're about one centimeter right now. Fucking one. Which is where you were yesterday. One. But um, <clears throat> I think she was under exaggerating a bit. I feel like. She said she had, if anyone was skinnier fingers, they said I might have been a two. So let's just say between one and two. But, but she could feel his head, which I thought was crazy. Yeah, that's She nuts. goes, oh, I feel his head. So I'm yeah. definitely effaced, and the contractions are, they were literally on top of each other. I almost feel like I was getting no break, right? Like how, I don't even, I wasn't counting, yeah. but I literally felt like it was like 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, you were getting hit again and again and again. And they're bad, like all <clears throat> in my back too, and back labor's the worst. So he's probably going to come out face up. Yeah. So she did the uh, epidural, Fuck. which was pretty cool. Um, I feel great now. <laughs> yeah. Everything's numb, but I'm like so yeah. much more relaxed. Yeah, you and you handled the epidural uh, installation like really well, like super smooth. That was nothing smooth. compared to. Yeah. Okay. So it's crazy when you think of an epidural like outside of this situation. You're like, oh my god, they put a needle in your back and then they slip this thing in and blah blah blah. Your but spine. like, She's so compared to the pain of the contractions that she was having, it was literally like a cakewalk. Yeah, I would, cause she was asking me what my pain level was with the contractions, and I said nine, like out of ten. I almost honestly like and some of them were like a 10 out of 10 because I was just like I, I could not believe they were that strong yeah. I really cannot believe it and I have a high pain tolerance but I think it's because my water broke like when your water breaks they get a lot and more intense yeah. so <clears throat> we're looking at doesn't the epidural kind of slow down the delivery or it could I mean since you can't really walk around or do a lot of maneuvering so. Yeah, so it's that's why I didn't want one at first, but yeah. I'm, she said I'm still having really consistent contractions. I can't feel them, thank God. Okay. But um, that helps move it along. So if okay. I continue to have consistent contractions like that, um, it's helping me efface, and it's helping my um, yeah. helping me dilate. And the nurse said she's like, I don't know why I have a feeling that you're gonna dilate pretty fast, because she was with my mom coming. She goes. It could be tomorrow, but I honestly, she's like, I just have a feeling you'll dilate fast because your contractions were so close together and so intense. Because yeah. most people aren't like that, especially yeah. at one centimeter. That's just crazy. 
<clears throat> so yeah, now we're just waiting, and it seems like sometime tomorrow. Take a prediction right now. What time on the 28th do you well, think? Well, first of all, I said I, he was going to be on the 28th. He was going to be yeah. born. Like, I still can't believe that I said that. I've been saying it for yeah, weeks. So I was right. like, I feel like he's going to be a February baby, and I feel like it's going to be February 28th. Like, yeah. I put that on my Instagram Like, I was thinking, March. I was thinking March 1st. Like, when we got up and just left dinner on the table, I was like, what's happening? I was freaking out. Because I thought we were going to be at home for, like, un I thought we were going to sleep at home again tonight, and then I come in tomorrow, I and then deliver on March 1st. No, That's what I, I thought know. was going to happen. Plus, it's really hard for me to leave dinner on the table, but... You, he was very calm. He was more calm than I was when my water broke. Well, I mean, it, yeah. I think it's only natural. It's not happening to me. <laughs> like, yeah. I think because it was just, like, flowing out of me. I was like... It's like, if I freak out, like, what would the point of that be? I know. Like, why? Like... <laughs> You're a good birth coach. <laughs> I can't imagine, like, why dads freak out. Like, just relax. They don't know what to like, do. Like, let the mom freak out. Even if you don't have to do. I don't know. I shouldn't be giving tips. I probably broke, like, a thousand rules already. <laughs> No, you're good. I left, like, we left the birth plan at home. I know, that's fine. Uh, a couple other things. Nothing, nothing super important, though. We got everything we need. Right there. Okay, what time do you think? Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna say... Okay, so I predict uh, Grayson's gonna be born at 12 o'clock noon, February 28th. What about you? I don't know, I think somewhere in between 8 or 9. A.m.? Do I have to give a specific time? Yeah, just yes, I am. So, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m.? One of those. Just pick one. 8.30 a.m. 8.54. Really? <laughs> wow. Alright, let's go. Let's see what happens, guys. Here's a little preview of what the room looks like. I don't know if I'll actually post this, but... Yeah. Fun. Fun stuff. Alright guys, midnight check-in, we're going to bed. Sleepy. She's feeling okay right now, so we'll sleep. We'll see you guys in the morning when things will get cranking, right? I hope so. Something like that. Her mom's coming in the morning, and then my mom will come to just say hi. And then hopefully the pushing begins. Alright guys, so uh, it's about 2.30 a.m., around 2 o'clock. Uh, she woke me up. I was sleeping like a baby. And, uh, ten times. <laughs> she she apparently called my name like ten times. I was deep sleeping, and uh, you were in a lot of pain. Yeah, a lot of pain, and um, <clears throat> the doc or the uh, the nurse checked, and she said you were five centimeters around there, Oof. and the baby's facing up. So <sighs> typically the baby's supposed to be facing down. So she she was in a lot of pain, <sighs> and he was riding along her back really low. Mm. So she's in a lot of pain. They came in and gave her some some medication <sighs> just now. That was about five minutes ago. So really it's low though. still kicking in. She's still kicking in. You cold now? Yeah. Alright, right, you want me to turn the heat up a little bit? Kicking butt, mama. Kicking butt. One. So she checked me at 1 a.m. I was four centimeters and 100% effaced. And then she checked me at 2.30 and I was five centimeters. And then it's 3.05 and I'm 10 centimeters and we're gonna push soon. And we're just waiting on your mom to get here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna waiting for my mom. It's wild. <sighs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> she put her hand, she's like, oh my God, he's right there. Yeah, they were gonna break the my membrane. Apparently there was still some left. But Grayson's like, I want to come out. I want to meet Trent and Blue. I want to meet Twenty and Blue. Mommy, Daddy. Oh my Ooh. gosh! It's exciting. I asked all about filming, and apparently, um, it's not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> we can film. Give my give the camera to my mom when you cut the cord. Oh, okay, but we can film cutting the cord and after the baby's born. So none of that crazy stuff. But yeah. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Alright, Dad, there's a for you. 
And then go ahead and cut it right in between this one and this one. It's usually, yep, right in between there and there. Right it's usually pretty gummy, so it takes a couple nods. Yeah, nice! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, he's here. <laughs> he's trying to look. Hi, Grayson. Come on, Hi, Daddy. baby. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Oh, that's the plus of the... It's quick. It was just like, boom. <gasps> yeah, girl, you made that look easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And all these classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, baby. Yeah, you did absolutely yeah. Oh, plus of the glittery. Oh. He's crying. He's fake. Huh? Is he it's fake? Real? <laughs> this is real. I'm just gonna wipe your arm off. Calling him Mama already, Matthew. Mama's not looking at the park tomato. Like Sage, I mean. I call Blue and Trenny Mama too. Oh, I know. She's like, what is this oxygen all about? It's like, Emma. Daddy, can we have um, a little bit of. I have questions mm -hmm. about Ben okay? Yeah. Say hello to Grace. 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 Say hello so this I'm is going to happen sure. a little bit, so you're not quite sorry, just totally quiet. Okay. He's already been knighted. Yeah, this is a little bit. Sir Grace. Yeah, this is going to come out, right? Scooch, scooch, scooch. Yeah, so. I'm going to give you this, and I'll give you some water, because I know there's a good one. Can I have some, like, ice chips? Yeah, some ice chips, and maybe a little, would you like some juice? Yeah, some ice chips. That would be great. Something to give you a little bit of go energy. Yeah, sorry, sorry. That's good. I'm gonna slide you guys over. I'm gonna throw a blanket over mom so she's not exposed to the world. No, oh, I got a warm one for it too. Do you? Okay. Yeah, I'm just thinking we gotta want to cover her part a little bit. Okay. It's just the best. You have no tummy. That's crazy. You went down from nothing. Extreme fat loss, right? Any um, information? Shred program. <laughs> Aggressive <laughs> shredding. I put that one thing down so it actually will drain otherwise it'll clog when it starts to blood.